Let's put these on feet, dog. Your boy ain't even. Uh, I'm wearing my shoes. 2014, 34,000 subscribers on YouTube. And that's really when I kicked it in the year. My New Year's resolution, to be honest, is really to maybe bump it up to 100,000 by the end of this year. All right, man, so like I told you, I was gonna hit you with my favorite pickups of 2018. Loki, your boy making a lot of videos about my favorite pickups, right? I hit you with the sneaker collection, hit you, I hit you with what the lady like. You know, every year, I always do my top pickups, right? You know, just my favorite of the entire year. And like I told you guys, I've gotten so many sneakers this year, but you know, most importantly, I don't like this channel to be solely on sneakers. I love to teach you guys things outside of what you learn in school outside of materialistic items, just more so of your goals, what you want to obtain in life, right? And every year it's been different for me. And I feel like 2018, I've, I grew so much as an individual. I understand financial literacy. I understand the importance of money, how to spend it, where to properly put it. You know, I bought my dream car. I got a crib. I got the house, bro. So things are good. Outside of the sneakers, man, life is good. You know, your, your boy kind of growing up a little bit, you know? So yeah, man, I would love for you guys to write your goals down below. And maybe if it's private to you, you can shoot me a DM on Instagram, right? You can follow me, at Mike the Compass. Shoot me a DM. Let me know what your goal is for this year or just in general. You know, it doesn't have to be yearly based. It just has to be, what are you wanting to do right now? And what is it going to take, right? That's all it is, man. Just do it, right? Start. Stop thinking about it. Do it. Right now, man, what? It's like one in the morning. I'm sitting here laying like, yo, I gotta upload. I gotta make a video, you know? Just get up and do it. That's what I'm doing right here. I'm doing this because I love it, man. As you guys know, YouTube obviously doesn't pay like it used to, right? But did that stop me in any type of way? No, did that stop the grind, the hustle any type of way? No. Anything in the last year, I probably got less views than I've gotten in the last two years, but I made a lot more money. And it's not all about money never get that twisted it's definitely not about money it's not about flexing it's about finding your self-awareness and like being happy right that is the most important thing i'm just letting you guys know don't ever let something limit you don't let people tell you who you are what you can do none of that just just do it man like there's always going to be ups and downs life isn't sunshine and rainbows but you know it's nice to come to this channel and see sneakers and enjoy this hobby you know something that we can connect with i think that's amazing that's what i love about it and that's why you see me putting out these videos i love it i did fall out of love with it you know there's a lot of people that would kill to be in my position of having 480,000 subscribers to even get 5,000 views is phenomenal right but i had to go through like this crazy 2017 2018 journey and here i am happier than ever it's dope man so that's that's really my update as far as going into this year obviously it's 2019 now i just wanted to grow my brand you know saint michael i really hope to take that to a whole new level i'm gonna keep creating content because i genuinely love it i'm gonna keep vlogging and i'm just gonna have fun with it because not a lot of people get to be in my position and it's dope you guys inspire me every single one of your dms you know i try to read through them as much as possible i try to respond as much as possible but i think the best thing is when I'm just going about my day and one of you guys comes up to me and is like, yo, sneaker life, bro. Like, I love your videos. You got me into collecting and whether people believe it or not, collecting sneakers is more than just flexing or buying the most expensive sneaker or status. It's a community of people that genuinely love this. It's more than just sneakers. It's more than just money. It's just a community of uplifting each other and just having fun with it so that's what your boy's been on man i had a whole plan planning it all out through 2018 it's just slowly being executed and that's all i care about I care less about what anyone else has to say what anyone else is doing you just focus on you man and everything will work out but like i said be sure to hit your boy i know this intro is a little long you want me to just shut up and get into sneakers but you guys know how it is i always gotta preach to you and just see what's going on with y'all because you gotta you're always wondering what's going on with me so i got what's up with you how you doing? But anyway, let's get to this list. This is in no particular order. Um, a lot of these shoes are still dead stock. This proves, I think, I, I, I realize I'm a hoarder. Like I'm, I buy shoes and don't wear them. I just have them sitting nicely and I'm like, yeah, I got those. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got those. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't wear them, but I got them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my hoarding addiction has been very bad. I need to chill off of that and start like wearing some of these. But also, like I said, I'm gonna downsize a lot of stuff. So it's kind of like, once I get rid of one shoe, I'll wear another shoe. I got my own thing going on. Don't worry about me. Just, just check out my list. So this is going to be in no particular order like I told you guys. But first and foremost, we have the Sonic Puma RS Zero. 
Now, the reason this is on my list is more so because I love Sonic, man. This is all I used to play, you know, as a child. What I love about Puma is that they were really putting out some solid concepts. Now, a lot of people don't really like Puma, you know, but I definitely appreciate what Puma puts into their shoes. As far as collaborations go, you know, I think that's a huge thing that Nike really used to do with the SBs and I see SBs are really coming back strong and I think it's because Nike is going to apply that concept of dropping just super fire collabs that you just love to see and it really attracts you to the shoe and that's the one thing that I really liked about these. I love the material on the front as you guys can see. It's Sonic man, Sonic at his best. So this was a very dope shoe and this was an opportunity for me to go to E3 and I got to work with Nice Kicks. Shout out to BK, shout out to my man Shu Hefner um, for just setting that up and it was just overall a dope experience and I got to meet some great people and you know, I just love it. Now obviously this Sean Weatherspoon, I'm sure you guys are probably tired of seeing this shoe but this was such a hard shoe to get and I missed out on it. So for me to be able to get it, it's just one of those hard to obtain sneakers. I got them, still haven't worn them. I can't wait to break them out. You guys saw I just got my girl these and you know, we gonna do little cute couple stuff in these. Now I say, you know, couple goals, you dig? Nah, I'm just playing, man. I'm, I'm geeked to have these. Uh, I'll probably finally wear them tomorrow or something, bro. Let's, let's put these on feet, dog. Your boy ain't even, uh, I'm wearing my shoes. These is fresh, G, right? These is fresh. I'm just gonna wear them for this video. Then, you know, I like some crazy stuff. Now, previously, I wasn't a big Air Forces fan. A lot of you guys always ask me, Mike, do you have Air Forces? And I was like, nah, I don't have Air Forces. I always thought they just kind of look weird, but you know, in reality, you can never go wrong with an Air Force. This one is super loud. Um, I just picked these up because I liked how loud they were. Just a dope shoe kind of reminds me, it gives me like the Aerosin Hue acronym look kind of vibe you know i like the tech wear i really love the tech wear that's like my ish right now bro tech wear is where it's at you can never go wrong with air forces no swoosh on this side but we got the black swoosh on the inside so i just thought it was a fire shoe shout out to hibbit sports for these really digging this loudness and also trying to broaden my sneaker collection you guys see i have a lot of diversity i don't just really stick to one shoe i have multiple brands different styles i just like to change it up but obviously you guys know that Jordan 1s is where it's at, bro, like mature, you know. Uh, this was a pack that I was trying to get so hard and I have all the other colors, the other two upstairs. I didn't want to show you guys because I see you've seen them in all the other videos. I've obviously worn my blue moons in the yellow pair. Still, I just got these, if you saw in recent videos, track red and the clay green, so I can't wait to break these out. If I had to sell all of my shoes, I would probably keep all my Jordan 1s and some white cement fours, you know, if I had to just narrow it all down. Jordan 1s can go with everything and I love having different colors. I I feel like it's really hard to mess up a Jordan 1, you know? So Jordan 1s is like something that I will cop for the rest of my life. I don't care if I'm 85, they drop a new Jordan 1, I'm gonna get I just love Jordan 1s, they're just so clean. I love, I just love everything about them. I love the leather, I love the way it creases, just the way it looks. The aesthetics of that shoe is just phenomenal. It's one shoe that I feel like Jordan brand can keep like, Mm. Come here, boy, where you, you, you going over to Adidas? Get your ass over here. So yeah, Jordan 1s, you know, you guys know. Now, speaking of Jordan 1s, obviously, you saw these in my collection video. Love these, man. I actually have the ones that released in, in New York. There's only 1,900 pairs. Don't know where they're at right now, probably upstairs, but yeah, man, I have the all black pair with the gold. These were just some serious, bro. Like, I actually have two pairs of these. That's why they're dead stock. Um, wore my other pair, but for the video, you know, we got to keep it clean so you can see the details, the shiny patent leather, such a phenomenal shoe, just damn. Now, Travis Scott did have some bangers, man, and definitely, obviously, the Travis Scott 4s. I really hope that they release like that olive tannish color. We'll see. I saw they're going on eBay for like 15K right now, dog. Stacks, my size. Anybody want to like lend me 15K, I'll buy them. I'll do a review for you. If you got 15K, just hit me. Emails down below. Send me that money, I'll, I'll grab them. But yeah, man, the Travis's, I can't wait for the ones to come out. I did miss out on the Air Forces. 
going to have to grab those for sure man you'll see those in the future pickup video but yeah man um loving these <clears throat> thank god i got two pairs now i really just wanted to throw these in here just because like dog i hated these man like dude this is the ugliest bulkiest shoe only like it because the yeezy it's like you, these could have been a pay list and i would have got them i don't know what you're talking about so it probably would have been cheaper. But yeah, man, just a funny story of how friends can influence you. If someone puts a fire fit together, I think it can really change your perception. And obviously that's what I do for a lot of you guys when I do my reviews. Kind of like put your mind at ease, like, oh, okay, I want to buy those. And I had a lot of friends that were rocking these and I'm like, yo, these are actually pretty hot. And I think they look hell of fire on girls, honestly. I think they look super cute on girls. I got a girl. Only, only my girl, if she does it. None of y'all other girls. Now, speaking of comfort, dog, let's talk about these, bro. This is the Air Max Particle Beige, I think it was. I think it's Particle Beige. Um, maybe I'm tripping. This probably isn't even called Particle Beige, dog. I'm probably tripping. These are something serious, dog, especially for October. Um, breast Cancer Awareness, I just rock with this. So this is gonna be one of the Air Maxes that I pull out every once in a while every blue moon air maxes for the most part aren't too expensive so you know these can sit and i'll just pull them out whenever but wow what a comfortable shoe you know my white pair is probably definitely the most worn in my collection because they're just they go i can wear them with anything man and they look great you know so i've picked up a lot of air maxes it's been something serious and of course, you know, obviously nobody's sleeping on these, the Concord 11s, man, a great pickup. So much history within the shoe. What is there to say, man? It's the Concords. I made like four videos if you guys didn't watch them, just to let you know, like, obviously I love the Concords. I did what I'd wear with them, the review, first thoughts, everything, man. This shoe is iconic. It's my ice pair, you know, these are just gonna be sitting in the baggie for a while and I'll pull them out. Talk about iconic. My favorite sneaker of all time, the White Cement 4s, man, destroyed my other pair. They're actually up there. Them hoes is dusty, dog. Super dusty, bro. And just to have a dead stock pair in my possession, yeah. Love it, man. Love the leather. Just love the entire shoe. Obviously, do the right thing. Iconic. Cement fours are everything. Now, let's get into a little bit of hype. I love Prestos. You know, I love Prestos. You know I love Prestos. Don't try to play me. I've been telling you I love Prestos. So, you know, Virgil had to design me a custom pair with my name on it right here. You guys can see uh, off-white. Just the fact of having a little bit of hype. Prestos, comfort, all-white sneaker, fresh. Now, I'm probably not gonna break these out until summertime. Again, my hoarding capabilities, uh, I can do that. I really like to buy shoes and wait, you know? Like, I will buy a shoe and put it in the closet and just wait. I'll let a year by, go by, which sounds crazy, but I've always been like, even when I first started the channel, like, I would always say, like, yeah, I just got these, but they're gonna sit in the closet because I'm not the type, I don't like to wear what just came out because everybody's doing that. I don't want everybody in their grandma to be having the same shoes as me, you know? I like when people wear theirs into the ground and then I pull mine out like, yep, hello? It's just preference. Speaking of Prestos, the acronym, Errolson Hill for the one time, bro, the loudest shoe ever, dog, these are crazy. Huge shout out to my man, Jamie the Great. He helped me get a size swap. I actually had a 14 in these and I was able to take them to Riff LA and they helped me out. So thank you guys for that, really appreciate it. But yeah, man, definitely a dope shoe. I wore these, I don't care, dog. These were just too fire not to put on foot. Now I'm at it, I'm throwing these on the list, man. These are the Platinum, Platinum Premium. I forgot, I already forgot what these 11s are. Uh, I didn't, I thought this was a clean shoe, right? This is again, one that's just gonna sit for a while and then I'll pull them out. I always do that with 11s. I never really, I never usually wear my 11s right away. It takes me like a year or two just to pull them out the box and put them on. But I like these. These reminded me a lot of the gray suede 11s that I missed out on. And I just, I love the new buck or suede, whatever you want to call it. It's just a very interesting shoe. It's very bulky, that's a fact. But you know, I liked it, man. I feel like a lot of people weren't digging this. I personally wasn't when I saw the pictures. I'm like, what the hell y'all doing, Jordan Brand? But when I got these in hand, yeah, these it. So I have two more shoes left on my list. The video almost over, guys. Now I wanna talk about these. You know, these are the Element 87 React. Um, I got the Sale and the Black colorway. I got these from Nike. I just woke up, added them on sneakers, and they're like, congratulations, whatever you want, whatever. You purchased your pair, and I'm like, dude, what? Actually, I'm lying. 
I got this pair from StockX. I got the sale pair for retail, which was crazy. Uh, I really like these. There's just one issue. I don't know what it is, but this back tab right here, right? It stabs me like right in the back of my ankle and it cuts it. So I got to wear like some thick socks when I wear these. And that's the only thing I hate. Like it's annoying. Other than that, I love this shoe. I just, bro, like what is that? What is that? But yeah, man, Nike, I love, it's always dope to see a brand like come out with something new, you know, like something that you've never seen before. And I really rock this design. I love that you can see through. I don't know, it's just a cool concept. And props to Nike for not just constantly, you know, what they do, they always release the same stuff in just a different colorway. So for them to completely come up with a new design and drop it and it be so successful, I thought that was really cool. And last but not least, my newest pickup, uh, the Air Max 97 off white come on bro you guys know how i am i love to add a little hype people get mad at me bro you don't like shoes unless they're hype shut up okay you shut up let me do me you do you let me do me let me get some hype them boys dead stock you dig i can't i'm, I'm gonna break these out what i like about the off-white specifically is i like the material on it so you know out here we got some crazy weather bro sometimes 60 sometimes in the morning you got a blizzard and in the afternoon you get 60 degree weather you know, these can handle it. These, we got like a nylon material. So, you know, I walk out, the snow will hit it, but then it'll dry throughout the day. And then, you know, they clean. I don't know what I'm talking about right now, but yeah, man, good look. Uh, great way to end the year off. You know, these are pretty recent pickups. That's really like my top pickups of 2018. Did get a lot of other shoes, but really these are the ones that kind of made the list and that kind of stuck out to me. So yeah, man, let me know what your guys' top pickup of 2018 was just the number one like the best shoe that you got now i don't care what it is man it's whatever you think was the best shoe that you got in 2018 and also let me know what you're looking forward to in 2019 because there's a lot of heat dropping i'm gonna do a most anticipated sneaker drop this month so stay tuned for that because i know you guys kind of like the monthly talk so we'll do that we'll sit down and talk you know We'll, we'll talk and yeah man there you guys have it thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you like i said you guys can follow me on instagram at mike the compass or you can check out at a sneaker life but i'll catch you guys in the next one run it it's in the air now.